Star Citizens, and welcome to another ship showdown video. As always, we are doing our contest for the month, which will be a ship that is one you won't want to miss. So make sure you like, leave a comment uh, or dislike, and make sure that you are subscribed or you are a member to enter that contest. And yeah, let's just hop into this one because this one I think is probably one of the more interesting ones, right? So we have the 890 jump and the 600 i explorer unfortunately our stv lost but i predicted that this would happen <laughs> so uh we'll get to our vote but really quickly so far i've been right uh, i said the c1 spirit would win i said the ursa medevac would win even though i wanted the stv to win um this one i'm hoping that the 890 jump wins it's very possible. I think I predicted that the 890 jump would win. So we're about to find out if that, if I'm gonna lose my my bracket, so to speak. I think the Terrapin will win here. I think I said M50 here. I think Vulture here, uh, Defender here, FAC Lightning here. And then this I think will be the C1, Terrapin, Vulture, FAC then it'll be terrapin fhc and then i got the terrapin winning the whole thing uh, the fhc has a lot of fans though so that one's gonna be tough um i i feel very confident i feel very confident up to the finals but we'll see we'll see what happens all right um yeah the, the stv lost i i i so i um if you don't know i did a um i i hopped on the stream with with uh info runners again and we, we kind of talked over uh, what our votes are going to be um, and why we think each ship should win. And we, we, we had some differing opinions, but it was it was a, it was a good time. So go check that out. Uh, I'm, I, I don't remember what the name of the episode was, but it's their most recent stream. If you're watching this on August 17th, it should be their most recent uh, most recent stream, which was on Friday night. Uh, but yeah, that was a fun time. Uh, we're also going to be doing some videos in the future, so That'll be cool. Um, but yeah, let's get to let's get to this. The 890 jump versus 600 i So I, I need to be very clear because I like to start these videos out with like why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? Uh, but but let's start with the 600 i Explorer. It's one of my favorite ships post rework. And so what does that mean? Like it hasn't even got the rework yet. But the re the rework. The details on that rework are so great that it made me buy a 600i Explorer to replace my MSR. Then I realized that I really needed something a little smaller and faster. So then I went back and got a 400i. And then the Nursa came out. And so then I needed to get an MSR instead of a 400i. And then I don't know how. Somehow I got a Corsair out of the. I don't know. It, it, it was a long story. But. The 600i I own. I own a 600i, and there's a a, a pretty high. There's a non-zero chance that I'll end up getting a executive edition 600i at some point. I I'm, I was I I don't want it. I'm not purposely going to try to attain it, but it's a very there's a very high possibility that I will end up with one. So the 600i being and especially executive edition being one of the you know the biggest prizes uh one of the rarest prizes you can actually earn in the game i think it's going to speak to how much attention the 600i is going to get the 600i is obviously going to be one of the flagship ships of origin i think the 890 jump people are going to traditionally be like that's too much and then the 400i, 300i, 100i's, 85x's and stuff. I think they're going to say that's too little. Generally, the 600i I think is going to be the sweet spot for most people as far as I want luxury, but like I don't want to pay an arm and a leg. Um, but I also don't want my ship to be, you know, not that useful just because it doesn't have a lot of interior space, right? So I think the 600i is going to be the sweet spot. 600i. I think after this rework, it's probably going to be in my top three favorite ships. Right now, I'd say it's probably in top five uh, as far as ships that I just know I'm not going to melt. Uh, unless the rework never comes. But I, I do have an out for it. Uh, I could upgrade it to an, a Liberator or something like that. So 
I'm not worried about it, but I, I do think that that rework will come. So I'm not worried about that too much. So I love the 600i. I'm not the biggest fan of the 890 jump. Uh, I think it's slightly overpriced. Uh, but I also think it's a solid ship. It's just, I'm not a fan of the price of it. I think it should be, I think it should be a $750 ship, but I do think it should be limited, but I do think it should be $750, uh, 900. I think it's at 900 or 950 or something like that. I'm not a fan of that price. I'm just not a fan of that price. Uh, I think it's a little bit too much, but it is a luxury ship. So you're paying a luxury price for the luxury ship. I also think it's it, it kind of needs a little bit of a rework because I think when they initially created the 890 jump, they were going in a different direction than they are now. So I think it's going to need a little bit of a rework, not like the exterior or anything. I just think they're going to have to change what the rooms, the function of the rooms a little bit. That being said, it's a gigantic ship. It's a really cool looking ship. I think it's one of the coolest looking ships, you know, that Origin has. Uh, the the 600i, it, you either love that design or you hate it, but the 890 Jump is just pretty. Um, and I love the I love the 300 series, the newer design of the 300 series. I love the 400 the 400 series, and I love the eight the uh, 890 Jump. The 600i's design, I happen to like it, but I I understand why some people don't. <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll see if it even keeps that design after the rework. But yeah, not the biggest fan of the 890 jump. I think it's a little overpriced. I still don't quite understand its purpose in the game. Um, I think it'll be like a party boat kind of with because it's not really it doesn't have enough rooms to really be like a VIP, you know, hotel in the sky kind of thing. It's more like a party boat. People rent it out, have fun and get off. Right um and i think the two i think the two i think it has two or three rooms in it that are like dedicated guest rooms um and yeah that's just not enough now if you get a very wealthy vip i could see that but i would see this more as a, a vip a, a place where a vip would live rather than a place where uh a VIP would rent this or something like that. Um, and that, so that's why I wonder what its place is in the game. All right. So I've said my my piece on the 600 eyes, said my piece on the 890 jump. Now watch me vote. <laughs> the 890 jump has no skins. It has no skins. I have a 600 eye. I have no intention of buying an 890 jump. I don't even think if they reworked it, I would buy an 890 jump. I like the only way I would end up with an 890 jump is if they offered it again with LTI and it came with another ship that I wanted and I it, and it was in a pack. That's the only way. And it would and it would also have to be at a significant discount. And I, I just don't think that's ever going to happen. So I don't think I'll ever own an 890 jump. So why am I voting for you know, the, the 890 jump? Because we need a skin for this thing. It's an absolute travesty that this thing does not have a skin. Um, now, do I think the 890 jump is going to beat uh, the Terrapin? I don't think so. I don't think it'll beat the Terrapin. I actually am pushing for the Terrapin, but I'd rather the 890 jump have a chance than the 600i Explorer, which has, I'm pretty sure it's tied. I think I heard Execute say it's tied for the most, the most skins out of all origin ships or something like that um maybe maybe it was all ships but i don't know if it has it has it's tied that much i think it has it does have a lot of skins though it might it might be tied for the most might be tied for the most but it, i know it has a ton of skins it has like seven or eight at least that i can i can think of just off the top of my head um four that are like unique and then there's at least four that are like from events like um stella fortuna it has at least two from at least two from uh the the what is that event called that we just had in january well not just had january was eight months ago now <laughs> so in january the 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 day the auspicious day i can't remember what it is but the red and gold that we just got 
so it has two of those at least two of those skins uh and yeah so it, it's got a lot of skins and it also has a bis skin so that's nine right there without and that's just like off the top of my head 890 jump has zero skins now 600i is a very popular ship but i just don't think it, 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 i don't know if it won but it's definitely been in the top four twice it's been in the top four twice in the in the last four years it's been in the top four twice so it's it's a, that's actually two bis skins that it has then so that's 10 skins right there like that's insane let's get the let's get the 890 jump a skin like i'm not saying it should win but i'm saying if it makes it to the semifinals i'm not gonna be upset like i said my two biggest people the, the two biggest ships that i want to win are the terrapin and the gladiator if either one of those makes it to the semifinals i think i'll be okay but they put it up against the 890 jump and that also happens to be a ship that i'm okay with making it to the semifinals so i'm okay with it uh if the 890 jump makes it then i hope the m50 makes it because then i would want the m50 to win but i don't think the m50's got a chance because <laughs> of the ships it's going up against so we'll see but yeah i think it's I, I, I plead my case again, folks. I'm not trying to get a skin. I'm I'm trying to to get I'm trying to get somebody else a skin. You know, get get these other folks skins uh, on some of these ships that just don't get the votes. Uh, that just don't you know. Even I I get it. It's like a rich person ship. But just remember, you can. This is one of the few ships that that is a capital ship that you can buy in game. You can buy a reclaimer in game capital ship you can buy an 890 jump in game capital ship it's super expensive but that means if you can buy one in game you might keep it for a few patches once you get that amount of money well you'll definitely keep keep it for a few patches and then on top of keeping it for a few patches you all you also can just buy that skin so I, I, it, it's not that it's completely useless to the person who doesn't go out and shell out nine hundred dollars you can go and get one. It's really expensive. It's the most expensive ship in the game. It's the most expensive thing you can purchase in the entire game. 69 million, I think. Or it's either 64 or 69 million in game, which is, that's a lot of money. But it is purchasable in game. And that's why I think it's worthy of getting that skin. Because there's people who will go and buy the skin, which I'm sure it'll be like 10 bucks, 11 bucks or something like that. And then they won't buy the ship. They'll just buy the skin so they can kind of differentiate. And I would love to see different type, different colored 890 jumps because when you uh, see a bunch of 890 jumps in game right now, it looks like a Mighty Ducks convention. Anaheim Mighty Ducks. I don't know. It just looks, it just looks like a bunch of ducks meeting. And I would love for there to be just something else. Like I don't, I don't know why the $25,000 uh mark of of the game the Leg legatus navium i don't know why it's not an executive edition 890 jump that would make a lot a, lo a little bit more sense to me but something tells me that the reason they put the 600 i explorer in there is because they feel like that's where the sweet spot is going to be for most people and i think they want that prize to be something that people will fly a lot the same way the fhc is something that people will fly a lot so yeah so there you have it that's my vote uh i'm pushing for the 890 jump go out and vote for the 890 jump and let's see if we can get that thing a skin all right that's it for this one thanks for spending your time with us shout out to the members peace